I, I've always felt the SNP were anti-English. Is is that fair of me? Um, are they anti-English? Some of them. Officially, the party aren't, but they are very much anti, uh, anti-British anti establishment. Um, but of course, down on the street level, this percolates down. And this is what I'm talking about, the politics of hate. Uh, this just percolated down to the lower order members of the party that do turn what would be an anti-establishment sort of rhetoric into a rhetoric of hate. And yeah, you will get a punch in the face if they feel like doing it. Um, and and that, that has been exacerbated and got far worse ever since Sturgeon came to power in the SNP. It really has got worse over the last 15 years or so. Now, do you think... Do you, do you think Sturgeon was like this and this was her plan or do you think she became leader she was summons you know um he trained her she was his number two she took over she was she was rated the best politician in the uk for years and years and years and then it all went wrong at the end was she a victim of this woke nonsense as well, or and that brought her down was it the fact that she could she couldn't control her party and all this happened and she couldn't control it all, or did she buy into all this? Oh no, she controlled her party. She ruled with an iron fist. You'll get, you can look back on things, and you'll see they'll be in the parliament now, and one of the others will over there will say something, and then she'll just turn her head, and the glare in her eyes. She went. So I've got an Irish mother, a Northern Irish mother, and sometimes when I was a child, I would do something, and my mother would look across a room like and glare, and I was like, ooh, you know, because. <laughs> uh, and that was nippy. She would just and the glare in her eye, and people would stop. Um, she had power. I mean, much as I dislike her, she had the power. I mean, in terms of being a politician, she was a good politician. She was. She had authority. She had power. But I think she took it in the wrong direction. Thing is, since none of them have had the power, none of them had authority. How was he used to have never had authority? And John Swinney's just keeping the chair warm. You know, she was the she was the one that had the power and the authority. But you know, I when you're just talking about what did she become that? No, I think ever since she was very young, she was anti I always I always have the impression that she was uh, she dated an Englishman and was very much let down and it's sort of ground. That's how I in there, you know, like it formed at a young age because she was always anti English. <laughs> 